dawn of the second day. Forty-eight hours remain. And we got Creepy Mask in close up. What's up guys, this is the Nintendo fan, and we are playing some more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. When we last left off, we delivered a letter for Andrew from the cafe, and also protected the cows in Romani Ranch from alien invaders. And in this part, let me talk to Andrew here. You mailed the letter, didn't you? I can't thank you enough. Oh, cafe, wherever did you go? The postman never fails to make a delivery, so I was certain he'd find a way to find you. Yeah, yeah. I like how Andrew acknowledges what we've done. But anyway, in this part, we're actually going back to Great Bay Coast. Because before Macau died on us, he told us that Gruda Pirate stole Lulu's eggs, and we're gonna get look for that place. And uh oh. Oops! I thought I had the Zora mask equipped. My bad. Oh yeah, and off screen I decided to get a red potion and green potion too. You'll see why soon. Of course I could have gotten a blue potion from Kotake after finding a mushroom. But, oh well. It's a little time consuming. Now, this is where we gotta go, and you see those wo wood skull crossbones? We can actually bash to em through them. Hey, hang on. Doesn't this look a little strange? Heck, if we bash through this one, it's just wall. But, if we bash through this one, this is where we need to be. Welcome to the Gerudo Pirate's Fortress. And I like the music here, by the way. Now you see those dots but <laughs> that are on our map? That's actually where Gerudo guards are. And we do not want to be caught by them, otherwise they'll throw us out of the area. But at least we're not in a prison like in Ocarina of Time. And this is very much like Ocarina of Time because instead of rescuing carpenters, we're actually rescuing Zora eggs. And we got a bunch of treasure chests here. And we got 20 rupees from this one. And we got skullfish in the water, so watch out for them. Oh wow, I like how I grabbed on the, the ledge underwater. Alright, red rupee. And they're going full circle again. Right. Go away, skullfish. I'm surprised they're not called Stalfish, because normally skeleton monsters go by the, na the name Stal something. And three red rupees in a row. Wow, I almost sounded like I was talking like Scooby Doo. Red rupees in a row? Uh, classic Scooby. Alright, let's go here. And wait for these guards before we surface. Alright, this is gonna take a while. Alright, one more should pass through. Alright, the coast is clear. So now, let's surface. And as you can see, we have a <laughs> Goron switch here. So this looks like a job for Darmani. Alright, let's turn into a Zora. And this looks weird. Zor Goron body with a Zora face. Again, I love how you can just mix those two, <laughs> mix two bodies together. I don't think that's really conserving magic, because, again, you're going to need some magic left over. Which is a good reason why I got a <laughs> green potion. Yes, I did. And 
be getting. These uh, walls here. There we go. And let's move this block here out of the way. There we go. And if we go over these, we get yet another treasure chest. Containing... Why, a red rupee! What's with them and um, red... What's with the Gerudo and red rupees? I mean, good lord. Alright. Now we gotta move this block. At least it's light enough for Mikado to push it, push it out of the way. Where we don't need Darmani. We got a little up... We're going upstream. And we want to go under. <laughs> Otherwise, if we get hit and blown away by that <laughs> vent, we go back to the front of the fortress. And I am low on magic. Holy cow. And we got some spike bombs here, which look like the uh, spike enemies from <laughs> Ocarina of Time. And I better drink milk. And as you can see, we have a half a <laughs> bottle of milk, which I'm gonna drink right now. Because you're gonna need some <laughs> empty bottles. Hey, treasure chest! I'm not sure if these were in the original version. I don't know. But we got an yet another red rupee. Go figure. And we got another treasure chest here. And gee, I wonder what it's going to contain. A blue rupee? Well, that's less than a red rupee. But hey, at least it's something different. Let's go back to the surface. And bash through these. You can, uh, you can actually do a roll attack on these barrels, very much like the crates. Let's turn... Actually, let's remain as Darmani. Hit the switch, and we gotta roll as fast as we can. Uh-oh. We made it. And our prize is a piece of hearts. And we got trapped in the cutscene. No big deal. Alright. And we get some arrows. Which we're gonna need. Let's get this out of the way. Oops. I missed him. But, after hitting this, this gate will open for a limited time. So hurry up! And we gotta be above the water this time. Otherwise, we get whisked back to the entrance. Well, now that those are out of the way... I gotta say, I really like this area a lot, both for the music and the puzzles for you to do. Again, this is probably one of my favorite water levels in video games. Now, a lot of people... Wow! <laughs> I just ran into that. Go me! But as I was saying, a lot of people don't like uh, water levels. Me, personally, I don't mind them. I like the scenery of them. And we got a telescope here. And we can get a good view of the fortress. Hmm. This might lead to something important. Now, I believe that part's actually optional. And let's make those two bombs collide before we blow ourselves up again. And go through this door. Heck, I do not want to fall down here, not after going through all that. Alright, moving on. We're now in the courtyard of the fortress. Now, you want to have the Lens of Truth equipped. And I better drink that green potion.
and just like before first of all there's a save point here if you need it and second of all you want to watch out for these guards now what you can do you can actually stun them with arrows like a tranquilizer uh oh now they won't stay stunned for long and that'll say something hey did you just call me that's strange. I could have sworn someone here just called to me. Let's have the lens of truth and there's a guard. Ah, someone. So someone finally noticed me. And the guard got up and during the text. My name's Shiro. I'm a clock town soldier. Thing is, I've never been able to get others to notice me. It's depressing. I thought I'd maybe stand out if I did something brave. So I infiltrated the pirate's fortress. But then, well... I ran out of energy, and here I am. I've been crying out for help for what feels like an eternity, but not even those blasted pirates seem to notice. Typical, really. It's, it's because of my personality, right? I have about as much presence as a stone. That's a lot in my life, I guess. Um, I have a request. Can you give me some medicine that will make me feel better? Well, we have just that, and that's why you need the red potion and magic. Ah, that. Is that it? <laughs> I like how it plays the item jingle here. I feel better, I think. Thanks. Oh, here. In gratitude. And we get the stone mask. Word to become as plain as it... Incomp... Inconspicuous as stone. And it's added to our notebook. Now, time to make my escape. See you later. Uh, really quick. Let's equip the mask. And if we go near a guard, we won't be noticed. And we can actually see Shiro running away. And I like how you can still <laughs> slash the uh, Gerudos. Yeah, this is a very helpful item. And, but unfortunately, you can't dash with the bunny hood or roll with the Goron without getting <laughs> spotted. So, what? You'll have to equip one mask at a time. But we want to go in this room. And we have a cutscene. I've been waiting for you. And did you find the rest of the eggs? N no, but, but that's because... What are you trying to pull here? If people hear the great pirates have lost the treasure they stole, we'll become a laughing stock. Yes, but, but a veil. The sea is strangely murky where we were attacked by the sea snakes. Silence! That's why the Zoras can't send for any help. Now that the eggs are gone, the Zoras should be frantically searching for them. If we don't hurry, the Zoras will get to them before we do. There are four eggs here now. The other three must be past the twin rocks of Pinnacle Rock, where the sea snakes lurk. Got that? Then hurry. Go find the eggs before those sinister sea snakes gobble them up. Understood. Wait. The Zora eggs are the only clue we have about that dragon cloud floating over the bay. If that strange masked one, if what the strange masked one says is true, and if we can get our hands on the treasure that lies sleeping in the temple in that dragon cloud, then we can spend the rest of our lives living the good life. So get a move, move on and go find them now. Understood. Well, at least he has more enthusiasm the second time around. But, we can actually shoot an arrow through this, these bars to that beehive. <coughs> and
and uh, cleared that room. And now we can go down below. And again, I like how these <laughs> doors sound more metal. There should be no guards here. And let's open this treasure chest. And we found the hook shot. Use it to grapple items so you can reel them in or pull yourself over to them. Press and hold the corresponding button to arm it. Then use the circle pad to aim. Release to shoot. Now this is every Zelda fan's favorite item. Mine, myself included. And we can actually grapple onto the wood. And let's turn into Mikau. Oh, and we gotta equip the some bottles too. <laughs> to catch these eggs. You put a Zora egg in a bottle. It doesn't look very healthy. You better t have someone examine it quick. Let's see, there should still be three Zora eggs in the fort Pirate's Fortress. Let's finish the job. Be well, Tattle. Now, something interesting you can do with the Zora eggs. You can actually pawn them at the curiosity shop and the guy will sell, buy it for 20 rupees each. Like, that's gonna hinder, A, that's gonna hinder your progress, but B, that's just cruel. Selling a girl's eggs like that, that's just, your heart, that's just heartless, man. Alright. Now I'm not sure if you can actually pawn the eggs in this version too. I'm pretty sure you can. Although I'm not even sure if you can pawn the Decker Princess too. I highly doubt you can do that. And we got a lava room. Let's go in through here. Halt. We aren't fooled by that mask. So yeah, we actually have a group of mini bosses to deal with. A pirate found you. Use L targeting to look for your chance. You're cut if you don't win. So yeah, this is very much like a Ocarina of Time. And three hits with the Gilded Sword. That's how powerful it is. Ugh, don't think it ends here. And she thinks since she's she, keep using a Deku Nut to escape. And we got a bigger <laughs> skull fish. Yeah, that is kind of scary. Having to ha find a <laughs> skeleton fish. It's a dispre- Heko, once it bites you, it's not going to want to let go. I hate this thing. And let's turn it into a Zora and... Electro shield. There we go. Let's uh, capture this egg too. Let's see. There should still be two eggs uh, in the pirate fortress. Let's finish the job again. And opening this chest gives us a red rupee. Okay, very good. So yeah, this is very much like rescuing the carpenters from Ocarina of Time. And we're dealing with the Gerudo, too. Only well, you have a way to <laughs> sneak past to <laughs> the guards easily. Yep, this is a gate. Let's go. And we got a little maze here. But like I said, this is just a cakewalk, but now that you have the stone mask. Alright, let's take off the mask. Guess. Halt! <laughs> it takes courage to come thieving in the pirate's fortress. I'm gonna love doing this to you. And I do like the uh, sound of... <laughs> that plays... Uh oh! Oh, that was close. I thought I was going to get hit by that attack. Ugh, don't think it ends here. 
But yeah, I like the uh, sound of that plays when the Gerudos unleash their scimitars. Ooh, this is very much like Ocarina of Time over again. And again, at least you don't have a... At least they don't send you to prison. Although this is kind of making me think of the a video I saw of a swanky box. Let's see, there should be one Zora egg left. Finish the job. But yeah, as I was saying, I actually saw a video from Swanky Box about uh, putting Gerudo guards in random places, like outside of Hyrule Field, during a boss fight, during the child timeline. Like, those have been interesting, and we can actually grapple onto chests. And Red Ruby, go figure. <laughs> Double slash. Double kill or stun. You know, I'm not sure if you can actually stun uh, the Gerudo guards in Ocarina of Time with your sword. I don't know. I've never had the guts to try that. But the last egg should be here. Again, would be nice to have both the Stone Mask and Bunny Hood equipped at the same time. And hey, we got a treasure chest. Which we're gonna take the treasure in front of them for a silver rupee, which we wasted some of it. But let's go here. That's as far as you go. How unfortunate. You won't be getting past here. Oh, we have another pirate boss. I don't think she's uh, tougher than the other pirates. And we did it. Ugh, not bad, but don't think it ends here. Well, that does actually end our... Uh, Adventure in the Pirate's Fortress. Let's actually drink our milk so that we can free that bot. Free up some bottle space, or not free up the bottle space, but free up the bottle itself. So yeah. And I caught a fish instead. Wonderful. I'm releasing that. There we go. That's what I was after. We finally collected all the Zora eggs in the Pirate's Fortress. What are you waiting for? Let's get out of here. That we shall, Tattle. But one more thing I want to do before leaving the Pirate's Fortress. Let's see, equip our stone mask. Alright, where are you? There's one. What you want to do is take a picture of one of them. You'll see why soon. But, but that takes care of everything in the Pirate's Fortress. And you know what? I think I'm going to end things off right here. And in the next part, we're going to do a little something in Clock Town, alright? Later, guys.